lady here welcome to friday night yes guys it is probably between 8 30 and 9 o'clock um i attempted to do the live stream and after about 40 minutes of only one beer i cut it off and decided to give you guys a blog yes a vlog Whew, you guys I've told you guys a lot of things, but one thing I have not told you guys about is all of my back problems. And so, I'm going to go way back. My third trimester of pregnancy, and I got sciatica really bad, and doctors kept telling me, oh, once you have the baby, it'll go away. It always does. Mine never went away. So over the years, my sciatica has come and gone. It's never been horrible. Um, and then also, also, I'm a spousal abuse survivor. So a lot of neck problems. And I mean, crunchy, painful neck. Um, there have been times where all I'd have to do is just lean my head a little bit and it would pop really loud. It only brought temporary relief and sometimes it got, it really would get really, really horrible. And then during COVID, I pulled a really stupid stunt and pulled my back and it never got better and it kept getting worse. And that is one of the reasons I bought the mattress. So, usually at any given time, one of my hot spots would bother me, whether it be my neck, the center of my back, or my sciatica. Never at the same time. Well, guys, I don't know what happened this week. I had the full buffet of back nightmare. Um... It literally started with the sciatica. And we stretch at work. And our manager says, I need y'all to stretch. I want to watch y'all stretch, stretch, stretch. And I don't know if one of the squats that I did for my stretching screwed it up or just I uh, squatted down wrong at work. But something at work, whether it be just squatting, kneeling, stretching, blew my sciatica into a frenzy and each day it got worse the past three days have been horrible and yesterday and today the middle of my back and my neck joined in the fun and today was so horrible i went to work and i was limping and hobbling and i had one manager ask me are you okay and I just told him, nope, and I'm going to the chiropractor after work. You guys, I did. On my lunch break, I went online and I, you know, scrolled on my phone through chiropractors. You guys, I'm not one to spend a lot of money on something I have never tried. And I'd never been to a chiropractor and... I was, I was in so much pain that I thought, I'm going to get there, they're going to do it, and it's going to be worse, and I'm going to have to go to the emergency room, and then I'm going to have to pay for that. So I got to looking at the joint. Now, I've heard great things about the joint, and I've heard awful things about the joint. And it usually goes by the location and who works there, who's running it, and who your chiropractors are. Well, the one that I got referred to as being utterly fantastic, way over on the north side of town. And I live on the south side of town. So, I looked at the one closest to my house. If you're familiar with the Arlington area, there is a joint in the Arlington Highlands. Yes, literally a hop, skip, and a fart from my house. And the one in the Highlands, I looked, it had good reviews. But still, I don't like to pay a lot of money for something I've never done and could be made worse. 
So they had this coupon thing, $29 consultation and your adjustment is 29 bucks. I thought, well, shit, what have I got to lose? Because if they screw it up, I'm going to have to go see a specialist. I'm only out, you know, 30 bucks. If I go and it helps, 30 bucks for an adjustment. So I call them up and I talk to them. And I come home from work, I change my clothes, and I drove to the joint. And they make you fill out a thick packet. Hey, I get it. They're going to be popping and cracking and mashing your spine and you're twisting your neck. Anything could happen. I filled it out. And the doctor comes around the corner and he calls my name. And you know, and I'm getting him out of the chair. He goes, I see you're in a lot of pain. Don't worry. And that's when, you know, you start to worry because $30 back adjustment. I mean, is it going to help? What are you going to do? So I went back there and you sit on one of the chiropractor beds and he showed me the spine. He kind of explained how the spine worked. And he did, we talked about sciatica and some of the causes um, of sciatica. And we talked about my neck and he took a look at my neck and he explained what was wrong with my neck. And literally, it's the same thing that Rick noticed about my neck when I stand and walk. Bar none, I think he was right. So, here's my tip for you guys. Do not wait till you're in a great deal of pain to go to a chiropractor. I'm not going to lie. That adjustment hurt. And you guys, they do the lightest adjustment possible on your first visit. <clears throat> that way they can't do a lot of damage if something else is wrong. And they don't know what's going to happen when they adjust you. Anything could happen. And they, he did the lightest adjustment they could do. And it was painful, guys. And... I'm going to tell you, the relief was instantaneous. There, he popped my neck two different ways. With my head down and laying on my back. And I'm going to tell you, when he put me on my back and popped my neck, that's when a lot of the pain just flew out the window. When, he, when everything was said and done, uh, and I got up off that chiropractor table... I went from feeling like I was going to die and miserable to 98 to 99% pain-free. And I didn't tell this doctor where my hot spots were. I had no intention of doing so. But you know what? When he went back to that spine, he immediately pointed to the spot in my neck that always hurts and told me I need to do a deeper adjustment next week on that. And I never did. I didn't tell him where that spot on my back hurt. I just said middle back pain. He pointed exactly to the spot in the middle to the right where my middle back always hurts and told me I'll need to do a deeper adjustment on that spot. You know what? You're going to get to because I never told you these exact locations of where I hurt. I said neck, neck pain and middle back pain. And then as far as my hip, my sciatica, he said, your hip is out of alignment and over time we're going to fix that and you're going to be pain free most of the time. Sure, I have a pinched nerve there and it's going to take a long time to heal. But after he was done and I was 98 to 99% pain free, we talked about a... Um, like a plan, like a treatment plan. I could do a long-term treatment plan or a short-term treatment plan. Their prices aren't horrible, but if you don't have a job, if you have Medicare or Medicaid, it'll cover it. I did the seven-day, well, it's a it's like a five to seven-day treatment plan. I will go back three days next week, and then the week after that, I will go two days. And then after that, I just come as I need to. You guys, a regular adjustment is 40 bucks. Yes. 
Dude, don't be in pain. Check your local, the joint, and get see some reviews. Ask around. Don't be in pain because I'm getting the treatment that I need at an affordable price. Dr. G and at you know at the joint at the Arlington Highlands, thumbs up, dude. <clears throat> the treatment plan that I got was one ninety nine. I will go back three days next week, two days the week after that, and I'm still left with two days that I can go whenever I want. If I have my neck's feeling stiff again, nine times out of ten, my neck is what's getting me, or the middle of my back. I can go in and have them do an adjustment, and you will leave feeling lighter, no pressure, no heaviness in your body, in your joints. You guys, do not wait. Do not wait till you're in a great deal of pain like I did to get some decent chiropractic treatment. I have to tell you, I give the joint thumbs up because I went crawling in and I went dancing out. You guys, thank you so, so much for watching this content. And don't forget Late Night with Lady tomorrow night. 8.30 Central Standard Time. Please be there. We'll have a good time. If you want more personalized content about my life, <coughs> give this a thumbs up. You got to give it a thumbs up. If you want more, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our tribe. Click that notification bell. Click all. If you don't click all, you won't get notified anytime some of my content is uploaded for you to watch. Oh, guys, I can't believe how great my back and neck feel. Yeah, you may see a vlog from me tomorrow morning. You might just do it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all very much. And as always... I'll smell you later.